So guys, we are back at it again with some more Assassin's Creed Origins gameplay. So we've I'm coming with your wine. Me? Ah, look who has returned. Bayak of Siwa. Perfect that you have met us in Heraklion. City of wine, women, whatever a magi like you desires. And deserves. Ah, to the queen. Bayek, you arrive at an opportune time. Cleopatra, I'm still looking for the men who killed my son. The order is neutralized. Was my hunt for me or for you? I have two more names. The order can't be... And how many more names after that? As many as it takes. I wish to bring my son to the afterlife where he belongs, not... Ah. I like you, Cleopatra. But the royal matters that seduced my wife do not sway me so. What does the badge mean to you? Have you forgotten? This badge means more to you than it does to me. This is not one man we are fighting. Nothing ends simply. Aya has understood that you have a new reality. I am your pharaoh. You are Magi to all of Egypt. Follow me. We have a gift. <clears throat> Speaking of Magi, any news of Aya? Aya is still defending the seas. We are expecting Pompey and his fleet any day now. To unite against the Order and change the land. I did see a lot on my hunt that sickened me. Our land is being oppressed greatly. I realize we cannot let the Order rise again. Yes, Bayek. The two new names, the Jekyll and the Scorpion, are within my brothers in a circle. We believe they are the ones behind the attempt on my life. An attempt on your life? By your brother's Philakis? Hard to tell. A Gabignani, one of Septimius' warriors. They form a militia 2,000 strong. I had hoped to ally with them. With Septimius? The Roman lug? He leads them? Yes, the dreamer who posits himself as truly Egyptian, and yet sends a man to murder me. Not very Egyptian, if you ask me. Aya feels he is working for the Order, and has a proxy here named Venator. Perhaps he is the masked one that forced my son's death upon me. Votuo! Just kill me already, you coward! Here is your gift. He is in the order of ancients like Septimius. We found him snooping around the villa. We think he knows who killed your son. My brother Septimius killed your son, and I don't give a shit! Shit giving is my job! I just fucked those twins up! Then it's all! Enough for you. I will press him for more information. I suggest uh, you visit the brothel in town. Yes. Go dig through this Dionysian town and unearth the plot against us. Septimius is in town. His main philakis is a man named Venator. Ah, 
Ah, a true warrior. I have a discount for... Wait. You're not with the Kabinianis, are you? No, I am not. I am a Magi. Whoa. Magis used to come here all the time, but not recently. Who do you work for, then? Cleopatra. I heard she was in town. Well, a Magi working for his pharaoh. You must have gold to burn. I would like to speak with your legendary twins. Speaking is what you call it. I suppose we all have our thing. The twins are going to cost you if you want to speak or anything else with them, Magi. Make yourself comfortable upstairs. The twins will come for you. They had a rough night yesterday, so don't speak too hard with them, hmm? You wanted to speak to us? I'm looking for a Gabagnani named Venator. Shh! Do not say that name! She's a naked Iadet. I won't hold my tongue for that monster. Everyone is scared of him, but you should kill him. He's staying at the top of the square. He won't be staying anywhere ever again. Anubis. This place has been busy. Venator does not walk alone. This place smells like a swamp. Broken dishes. It reeks of foul play. Blood on the walls. This Venator is sick. What have you and your men been up to? It smells like a swamp. Blood on the walls. Target practice on Cleopatra. Venator is training his Gabinianis for an assassination. Scented oils. Were women of the street here? And Roman regalia. Odd. Seems Venator wants his men to mix well. Wine casks. This doesn't smell like wine, though. Oil in wine casks. Enough oil to burn down the whole city. My gods. A crafty plan. One of the men is posing as a woman. Must be to infiltrate the palace. Posing as wine merchants. They will dock and set a fire to cause a panic. With an archer ready to pick off the queen in the confusion. Somewhere high. Venator. More than just one of Septimius' dogs. 
You have your own puppets within the Order. I have to find them before they strike. not to draw attention here.
My love. Bayek! <laughs> ah, you smell of the sea. The high seas have taken me for some time, but now I'm yours. That is no way to talk about a goddess. If you are a guardian of Egypt, the country will surely be dead in most. Keep talking. You'll soon find yourself without a head. Did you stop by the prop and see my handiwork? Your intimidation is sad. Come, let me give your car a break. You fool to all. You think you can change any of our plans? You will soon be dead. That is change enough for me. Death to Cleo! We are the Gabanianis, and Egypt is ours! Save a place in the Duat for your brother Septimius. <gasps> hey, old man! Oh, are you injured? Just a flesh wound. <laughs> okay. I am fine. Nothing hurts anymore. My mind is a riot. All I have is that I am pushed further. One more attempt to snuff me out. My queen, rest and remember I do that... not need rest. This civil war is no closer to ending. I need a fucking throne. My throne rots in the hands of my brother. Instruct Foxidus to prepare ship. We head to meet Pompey. My last resort. You two go ahead and tell him we're coming. Yes, my queen. Bayek, if we don't get to Pompey first, Septimius might. <laughs> Appears those Gabinianis left us a feluca. Kind of them. Ah, Septimius has beat us. Funny how all great men are reduced to food for maggots. This is a cemetery for our ambitions. No, no, it can't be. Where is Caesar? He has arrived in Alexandria. He is heavily guarded, so there's. Bring me to him. I will get to Caesar if I have to drag myself through the sewers of the palace.
forewarning, Bayek. Once we board this ship, there is no turning back. And we finish with the Queen on her throne, or each of our heads on a pike. I understand. It is rare that our cargo is a goddess. I apologize. We have no kings or queens on our ship. Only gods and goddesses. So you should fit right in. All strange and terrible things are welcome. <laughs> I am worried that my quarters are not as comfortable as your palace. Comforts? We despise them. <laughs> my loyal shield boy! Are you fit? I am in awe of this goddess. We must do her well. I can't believe she's on our ship. Hey, don't be fooled by appearances. She needs us more than we need her. <laughs> Raya, she is the real goddess. There, in the distance. Oh. Raya, already showing Bayek the best places to make love, huh? Enough, Fox. It is time to make war. Brothers at sea, today we carry a precious cargo. Queen Cleopatra, great lady in perfection. She of the sage and bee. With so many other cocksure titles, my breath falters just to think of them. Now, if you'll direct your attention to the fort, you'll notice we have some friends bearing down upon us. Emissaries of our little pharaoh. How kind of them to come forth! Let us welcome them, shall we? Warmly, with a ball of flaming refuse. Ah, la, 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 la. This reminds me of a day 20 years back, when I sailed the group of pirates. Sicilians, was it? Ah, bird stories. That's right. I was a higher call than two. They were planning an inland raid on Antioch and needed a few extra sails. It was my first and only peek into the life of a scoundrel. I prefer having a shred of pieces. Only a shred. A shred can be hard to come by. He speaks! The great Magi! We are at sea, Captain. Any greatness here is yours. Ptolemites! Burn them! Alala! Well done, then! Sea craft comes naturally to you. Easier to sail about when the sea is empty of ships trying to sink you. Won't a dozen missing triremes not allow the main fleet? It will take some time for them to find the wreckage. Onwards! Then! More Ptolemy ships! They'll want to box us in and drive us against the shore. I see that look in your eyes. Why should we fight them? We can just barge on through and head straight for Alexandria. I need to be sure the way is safe for Cleopatra. We have to do this. Those naked others will feel the rod arrows. Nice to hear Egyptian Bogarty on a Greek ship. Variety is what makes life interesting. And bloodshed. La 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 la! The fleet awaits your command, Aya! Our catapults will fire upon your orders! Give them hell! The fleet is at your disposal! One signal, and fire will burst upon them! Golly speed! This is not a battle we win without catapults! La 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 la! Which one is he going to fire? Wake him up! And tell him it's time to unleash his wrath! Don't save our ammunition, Aya! Waste it! And nail! 
the fleet is at Take them, you slackers! But not the Vorsmen. Something else. Hold, Foxidas. Look there, and the water. Give them hell of a threat! Hey! 
Give some hell out of fans! Golly speed! Need more speed! As are we. Lucky to be in your furious company. Should I apologize for putting you back to work? Not at all! Not at all! My blood runs quick now, with the roar of battle! By Zeus, I have not seen this much action since the earliest days of Cleopatra's father! Let's not celebrate too roundly, old man. We're afloat in the sea with a cargo with a thousand ships. Yeah, I wonder if Cleopatra survived unmarked. Well, those clothes looked expensive. All are safe, we are done. <laughs> Attacking starboard! Oh, we are not done! Ptolemy is not here, not dead yet! Get out of the reef boats, use the fog to hide your escape. I will take care of this. Destiny is a fucker sometimes, Aya. Enjoy the calm water. I will stay in the storm. Free you fools! Don't mind the flaming arrows, huh? <laughs> For battle, we will honor our goddies! We cannot afford to spill any Roman blood. We cannot traipse into the palace armed to the teeth. So we disarm then. Armed or not, they will recognize her. For once, perhaps a queen's entrance is unnecessary.
act natural. We are meant to preside these grounds. Remember that. Is our queen all right? I'm fine. Who are we? Let me do the talking. None pass here without escort or a royal seal. I am the nomarch of Heliopolis. These are my phylachitae. We bring gifts from our local merchants. Let them pass with an escort. Follow me. This way. Our Imperator appreciates the hospitality. Have you received the warm welcome our pharaohs always provide? We will not celebrate until an alliance is sealed. Your vizier and your king have given us fine accommodations here in the palace. However, I cannot guarantee my Imperator will hold court with you. We understand. You are a good legionary. We will be patient. Ah, babe. Sere. Oh. Guest legionary, at ease. We are with the great Pharaoh Ptolemy XIII, his envoys from the east, with gifts for your Imperator. Carry on, then. An offering? Would you like me to help you carry your carpet? No, sorry. It is very sacred. Must be handled by the Philakidae. They understand the merchandise. Step aside, legionnaires. Official business for the Pharaoh. Who are you? You look like a hippodrome racer. Huh. I am. You should see me race. The C1 warrior. Continue this way. Yes, legionary. At ease. You will stay in the palace until all politics are concluded. Don't. The palace is at your disposition, Pius. Pompey. Pompey was your enemy, Caesar. He was my friend first. But you are right, Ptolemy. Now let us discuss our alliance. <clears throat> what is this? Forgive, Lord Caesar. We bring a gift from our pharaoh, Cleopatra. Pharaoh? This is no gift. These are my sister's friends. It is a trap. In place of an envoy, Cleopatra sends a rug? I wonder how you all entered my palace. God! Kill these traitors! My wretched brother. He's at the wine go to vinegar. And my kingdom to pieces. Great lady. Your audacity is equaled only by your beauty. Flavius, please. I can offer you what my brother failed at with me. Marriage. A true marriage, that is. If you ally with my sister, I will kill every last Roman in Alexandria. Enough of the big words, little brother. Out, all. You will each be sent for when our Congress is concluded. I wish to hear both Ptolemy's side of the story. Bothinus and Septimius gone. We miss them. You will have your vengeance soon. This is Cleopatra's time to officially become queen. If she is crowned queen, we will be able to act from within. Crush the network. Tomorrow our queen will have turned flattery into progress. We'll reconvene tomorrow at the gardens. You proved your worth tenfold today. You truly are great Medjais.
Aya, dear one, thank you for coming. All is well with great Caesar. Good, my queen. Soon you will be on your throne. Yes, yes. I must ask you a favor, though. The tomb. I fear Lord Caesar should have the honor to bear witness to the author of our kingdom, Alexander the Great. You want to impress your new lover, I see. The tomb is sealed, no? <laughs> it is, but by an act of Gaia, not a royal decree. An earthquake in the early days of my father's reign has blocked the door. Do you know our metropolis well enough to suggest an alternate means of entry? The underground. You would enter from below? Well, I would find a way into the cisterns and canals below, work backwards and find a way to clear a passage into the tomb. That would solve our problem, but it seems idealistic. Fortune favors those who ignore her. I'll examine the area around the tomb and figure this out. Excellent. Rejoice. It is a dead end, my lady. I will double check. Ensure it is. Really? Broken spears. These Romans really did try everything. They got it right. This way is completely blocked. That earthquake must have altered the structure. Hmm. Strange. This wall is not as solid as it looks. Must be a way beneath. Around! This is a tighter squeeze than the cave west of Siwa. We were smaller in those days. Where to now, my love? It must be through the sewers. No one had the courage to plunge into Hades' rivers. We are the ones. After you, Aya. The tomb. Incredible. I hope you will provide me with a similar sarcophagus. <laughs> Whatever you want, my love. It is said that his sarcophagus is full of honey. Helps preserve the car. <laughs> Promise me you will bury me with my blade, so I can protect myself from the field of needs. Promise. These markings along the bottom, they speak of Siwa, the vault, and a scepter that Alexander holds. A moon stands in a field of trees, where a marked sphere meets its scepter. 
Man to king, king to god. A marked sphere. What did you do with the orb I gave you? I gave it to Apollodorus. He loves those things. We should let the others in. I'm going to keep looking around. These paintings on the wall. The stuff he is holding. The markings. Ever since I was a boy, I've idolized this man. He is similar to you. I wept at the base of his statue in Rome. At 30, he was a god with an empire stretching across the known world. What have I done with my five long decades here on Earth? It me did you faint? Together, we can do more than Alexander did. Yes. How long before the Queen stops impressing Caesar? and starts impressing us. Our needs are hers as well. She will deliver. My Caesar, our emissaries have been captured at the southern garrison of Alexandria. Soldiers have reported a hostile environment. Captured? Is this Ptolemy's diplomacy? I will send my guard. Greek soldiers will pass more freely through the city than Romans. Let us settle this matter, my queen. Flavius, come. Look. We have found the great king. Taking on the entire garrison will not be easy. I may not have to take on the entire garrison. A calculated kill and a shadowy presence will fare better. If you take on the armies of Ptolemy, I would like to be at your side. I will distract the garrison with a brawl. A fine idea. I will procure the emissaries. Get out of my way! They will attack on sight here. Hey, hold on! Better be careful, huh? Probably won't come back, but... Finish the damn job. I come to save you. Hey now, you are sick. Got you.
We need to alert Caesar. What happened to you? Septimius, they are preparing a siege of the harbor. They want to take the palace. I will not betray Caesar! How many more heads must I chop off before Caesar understands? This is futile. A change of plans. The lion says we must march on the Pharos and trap the queen. Then they said they left for. Where? Where? This guy may have more valuable information. I need to bring him back to Caesar. <laughs> Romans ignored us at their peril. We will riot them. Fellow citizens, we must take up arms. I'm heading to the Serapian. Praying is our only hope left. The gods have been Whoa. lifted. You have loyal men, Caesar. Septimius plans on trapping you in the palace. You have no time. As I foresaw, war. Levius, they want fire. Let us burn the whole damn harbor. And if we change the Pharos light, the rest of the fleet will know what to do. We will join them by chariot. Salve, Lord Caesar. I will make the order. My queen, you should accompany me into battle. As these soldiers rip each other apart, I shall stay on my throne. I am queen until a sword plunges through my heart. And even then, my blood will stay on my throne. Good then. I stay. My life is yours to do with as you will. Now, the most crucial part of the plan. Put this into the brazier of the Pharos. She will accompany me through the city. Now, let havoc reign. Aya, if you find my brother, Ginestoi, <laughs> we will put our queen on the throne. 
You are the only queen worthy of the throne! <laughs> Give me the powder. Caesar thinks a woman cannot do this job. Proof Caesar wrong, my love. This area is well watched. she get this far? Poor oh, little woman! Just kill her so we can deal with the real problems of these Roman Malakas. 
My blade is offended. the order of ancients. Perhaps I will give you a round. Now you've offended even my mother heart. This Pharos is Pharos. Be gone! <laughs> this Pharos will only burn for Cleopatra. Name, did you kill my captain? Ptolemy's men are breaking through our line. No, 
Wait until I see the signal. Can't believe you trusted a woman to do something of such importance. How are the fleet to receive their orders? Patience, Caesar. Die is cast. <laughs> Come. We go to the battlefield. Red Jai, cover the retreat. Many men have died to die. All have found themselves dead by her blade. <laughs> 